Welcome to my shop. My name is Steve and I'm here today with a good friend, uh, Bill Moore from Millstock, Illinois. And he has the Millstock Glass Company and uh, you're going to see him uh, and his son put in our my new windshields uh, on my 37 cord that I've been restoring. And uh, so Bill, tell me a little bit about your business. What uh, What's your main, main claim to fame there? Well, it goes back a long way. <laughs> I got started back in 1977 in the glass business, and uh, uh, really wasn't what I wanted to do in life. But uh, here I am, uh, 44 years later, and uh, still doing still it. Doing it. Uh, <laughs> I've always been fascinated with the old cars; um, just uh, find them exciting and uh, interesting to work on. So I find this an honor to be able to actually put glass in your 37 uh, cord well, here. I'm glad you uh, think so, and. Uh, I understand you like to collect Carveras. Yes, I got a collection of them. Uh, it was the first car I bought. It was one when I was a junior in high school. I still have it. It's being restored now. Mm -hmm. And uh, love the Carveras. Always fascinated with it. And uh, and your dad Wayne was always my inspiration. He always had the neatest stuff. And I said, boy, I someday I'll get that. And Wayne did help me with that. Good. He did. Uh, to achieve my goals there for me. I give Wayne credit. He was always a, always a nice guy, and just enjoyed being around him and talking to him. He was very knowledgeable. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Why don't we get started and put that windshield in? What do you think? Sounds like a good idea. All right, let's do it. Sure. You want a uh, just a you want silicone spray? I don't have to do that around the body of the car if you're painting. Uh, pretty much done painting this part. Yeah, this is all painted, so everyone. It won't. Uh, Let's just tap it. That's working. <laughs> Do the other one. Is this a bend pack? Um, rotary. 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 Yeah. I lift this up. Okay. Put these down. Okay. Where's the logo on that one? The logo on the outside? Yeah, they're all on the opposite side, so it'll be right there. There's the logo. Just want to make sure the glass is yeah. perfect. Looks good. I will leave you the extra one just in case. Mm. That way you also have a pattern in case something dumb happens. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, the reason we're using this black tape is we cut that if you use regular tape you'll see a white, and we don't want to see that. Uh. So what do you do, you just edit all your, uh, edit all your footage together? And yeah, pretty much, yeah, it depends on what I'm, what I'm videoing, but uh, sometimes real short clips, sometimes they run 10, 20 minutes <laughs> at a time. I've been wanting to learn how to do some video editing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend, and every once in a while we wanna have like little videos, you know, uh -huh. going uh -huh. out, and it's like, God, none of us are good with computers, so. Uh, 
Oh, well, Macintosh is a, is the way to go. And what we can do is spray the sides of this, but not the top, just the sides. But I've got silicone paste if you'd rather use the paste, you know, on a brush. Yeah. yeah. That stuff is that uh, little bit of glass slip that we have in the shop. The yeah, outlet stuff. He's got this 40 year old can of glass in it, and that's about the slippiest stuff you've ever seen. Yep. That's Wait for putting. Mm. I work the cool lines doing this. I got, yep. I got several cans of this, and it's. Uh, they got a brush on the end of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. It really does. Uh, it really, it works good for. Get the sides of this. <laughs> yeah, the sides and the bottom. Especially these corners here. That's where it's taking all the. Yeah. the brush on this has seen better days. It's gotten some use. <laughs> and those cans are older than probably, dirt. Yeah, probably 1965, 60. You know, for a 1960 brush, it's doing pretty good then. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't think Kent's in business anymore. I think it, <laughs> most of the stuff is not. The good stuff isn't, you know. Uh, is your sister doing with the cars down there? She just hasn't stored and shows just, them. Just stores them. Doesn't do anything with them. Okay. Got the silicone on it too. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Just did I give you the dead blow uh, rubber mallet or not? He's got this one, but he he wanted a bigger one. Uh, the dead blow works pretty good. Uh, it does. Mm -hmm. It's good in there. We just. Gotta be patient. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving now here at bottoming out now. I think, I think you're bottoming bottom. out on this side, but I think you gotta tap it just slightly more on this side. Okay. It's in there. Yeah. Well, why don't you go ahead and paint the top of these with that stuff and we'll see if that will fit on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid growing up, mm -hmm. I used to buy car books all the time. Yeah. Grade school, all these Auburns, Cords, Duesenbergs. And I said to myself, you know, Self? <laughs> I'll, I'll find one of these cars because nobody will want them. And I'll be able to buy them, and I'll be able to have them someday. Mm -hmm. That was mistaken there. Still can't afford them. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I don't know how people get by today. I really don't. It's it's. You know, it's a dying art. You know, these old cars. Oh yeah, definitely. Parts, people to work on them. You can't afford to pay somebody to work on them. If you don't know how to work on them yourself, why? You'd be upside down on it. You wouldn't. Well, you just don't want it. I mean, you just 
you don't want to get involved. It's I don't know. It's like doing your own electricity if you don't know anything about it. I guess we could we. Yeah, I'm put thinking. In, put this together. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Stick up a little bit. I don't know. Mine's sticking up a little bit, but I think it's supposed to go down flush. I think. Yeah, it has. To, let's see where well, the screws got to. Wait a minute. Where's the screws go? There's a piece. Are we missing a piece? Yeah, we are. On the, this one's missing a piece here. Here, oh, here it is. Yeah. Here it is. This yeah, fell, take it back off. This fell out. Slide that in. Oh, yeah, here. There we go. There it goes. Now, glad we saw that. I'll tell you what, put, put screws in there. Put one in there. Yeah. You want to put this? These yeah. ones in there, kind of keep it in play. Mm -hmm. Plating for you. Um, well, Arkansas Jim is uh, Ray knew this guy over in St. Louis, over by the brewery, who did all the prep work. And then I guess it took it to St. Louis Plating is okay. where it, yeah. where it finally went to get you know the final dipping. But uh, there she is, just about in time to see, see it all done. <laughs> you have to watch the video, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have to watch the video. <laughs> I hear worse language every day. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Yes. okay. All right. Thanks this side of the O'Reilly is on the Yeah, I know. Yeah. Bill O'Reilly. Oh, he's listening to him. Yeah, good. It looks pretty nifty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yes. I was so glad he had the professionals come to install it. Oh, is that what you call us? Yes. Install it with professionals. That doesn't want to go down any further, Billy. Really. I think they go down to their flush. This piece is flush with the top of this, I'm pretty sure. I'm not so sure, Steve, it won't go that far. Uh -huh. If these are cut off the original pattern, hmm. then we don't know. It's crazy to think they got the original pattern in there with that felt yeah. wrap in there. Yeah, because yeah, that felt, it's got to have a felt wrap on it. Mm -hmm. And we're using thinner, what was in there originally. I think if you tap this down a little bit, you get that. I don't think it'll go. Yeah. Feels solid to me, or sounds solid anyway. Give me that wrench. Uh, it's, a, it's a little big, but let's get the right size wrench for that. Your wrenches yeah. are too thick. That could be. That's I, what the problem is. See if I get you a thinner one, but a 3 8 thin? here this match is here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. that should match there now I've got another windshield upstairs that's not uh, 
I can go look at it and see how it's how it's put together. Got curiosity. Yeah.